Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Ned from Ned's Tech Bits, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am. I am from the internet. And today I do want to do a quick video on, not these video cards, but uh, my best video cards are all locked into different uh, systems like over here. Over there, I got a, well, I got uh, those two systems. I got a 4060 RTX. I got an RTX 4070 Super Ti uh there on the bottom you know and then i got colonel the colonel's all about the good chicken and elvis who elvis so right here you kind of get an idea what i'm doing uh with the video cards i'm making this same image with all the most powerful video cards that i have and seeing how long it takes and to me this is a good way of judging the cards so here you can see real world results, RTX 4070 Ti Super, and here you can see in the images, I'm getting about a new image every minute. Honestly, it's about every 55 seconds. And I should say that the sampling steps that I'm using right here, you can see are 150 on this one, on this one. And I'm doing 1280 times 720. The pictures are remarkably good many a geode this camera probably doesn't do it enough justice and she's freaking dust see you see that give me a sec whoa okay that one's a little bit something i gotta switch it up a little bit because crystals don't do that naturally right but still it's beautiful like legitimately there's so much going on i think i'm gonna start telling it to put some fish within those crystals Anyways, let's move on to the next one. Now, I have got to have some damn fool bottleneck on this one. This is the 4060 Ti, and I am at 100 steps. I'm getting one picture every 45 minutes. So here you see the 4060, and here you see the times it takes to create it. Yeah, that's taken quite a while. That's taken quite a while. So I'm thinking there's some kind of bottleneck on this. This is something on my system. I don't know exactly what it is. I'm going to be whittling it down. But please don't take this as the be all and end all. Well, this is supposed to be the slowest of all the video cards I'm going to show you. This is remarkable. Now on a higher res monitor, the crystals look much nicer. I gotta say, this is a 4K one, but once again, we're only making 720p images. If I try to make them bigger than that, they seem to crash out on me. And you can see here that I'm getting about a picture every four or five minutes. I'm going to say about every four minutes, 30 seconds. That's how quick. So that's five minutes on a Titan X Pascal. This is a Titan X Maxwell. Now there's some confusion with a Titan X. If you're getting into it on a budget, I recommend you check this card out. Titan uh, now, this is a Titan X, uh, but this is a Titan X Maxwell. You can tell it because there's no X next to the name. If you have a T Titan X Pascal, which I recommend you get into about another 50 bucks, and it's about 100% better, it'll have the X next to it. Once again, this Titan X Pascal will have a Titan X next to the name. Now remember, Titan X Pascal is different than Titan XP. The Titan XP is marginally better, but it's remarkably more expensive. So as kind of a side note over here, I got one of the ARC, the Intel ARC units. And uh, you can generally generate about four images at a time. They're very lovely images. They seem to use Juggernaut. Uh, you can change it, but uh, I love it. But you can only make four at a time. Now this last unit that I want to show you is... Jeez, I can't really show it to you, can I? It's in there. It's in... Oh, wait, it's in Pinkie Pie. Maybe you can see it. Now, okay, it's that giant one right there. It is an RTX Quadro 5000. I apologize for the 720p monitor, but free on the side of the road is a lovely price. So here you can see I'm generating about an image a minute. And that's really good. That's remarkably good because uh, the video card in this is uh, a lot cheaper if you want to get it used especially. 
the RT, the Quadro RTX, if you want to get it used, is only about 700 bucks. I got really lucky, though. I shouldn't really say that I got lucky. But ultimately, I got it for free because the thing was only supposed to be about 500 bucks with a computer. But the thing was that uh, there was an issue with the port. One of the ports wasn't working. This is quite literally how the computer ended up at my place. It really seems like uh, the shipping didn't do what it was supposed to do. And because of that, I basically got it for free. And that's the story of how I got a $700 video card for free. So in retrospect of running with what I got so far in production, I have the 4070 Ti Super, one minute of the picture, the RTX, uh... 5,000, one minute, one minute a picture, and then I have the Titan X Pascal with five minutes a picture. I remember running the Maxwell, and I'm pretty sure that would have been about 15 minutes a picture for the Titan X Maxwell, and then, of course, on the very bottom, I, it must be a bottleneck issue. It could be the 8 gigabytes VRAM. But on the very bottom, over here, we have the RTX 4060. I definitely recommend more than 8 gigabytes of RAM. Definitely recommend more than 8 gigabytes of RAM. You gotta have 32 megabytes minimum unless you're just playing around. You're just playing around if you got anything under a Maxwell, uh, or sorry, if you got anything under a Titan X Pascal, you're just messing around. Anyways, that's it for me, folks. Have a good one. And take care of each other, will you?